Hey guys, what's going on today? JSP Farms here. Uh, going to give you a bit of a crop tour. We're going to start uh, scouting, checking things out as things grow. This is the first day I've been able to scout where everything's up, so uh, we're going to take a look at how things are going. We got a dump of rain yesterday, probably ended up with seven tenths. So uh, we got about three days of seeding left, but uh, whether we get back out there today is... Uh, is questionable pretty wet out can't complain but you know always a test of patience at the same time so let's see what we can see I'm stopped here we have a field of mustard and a field of Durham that are some of the first seeded that's right across from each other so uh, we can muck around and check that out so let's go So this is the field of Durham. As you can see, uh, there's quite a bit growing here. It's up pretty good. You know, it's not going to be very long, and uh, we'll be looking at, at getting this stuff sprayed in crop. We could probably actually start on the uh, on the lentils as is, but. Uh, so what do we got here? Just coming a little bit. So let's uh, let's stage this derm here. Essentially, this derm is uh, still in the shoot phase. Uh, eventually, this derm weed is going to get big enough. It's going to shoot. You're going to see another another leaf, another sprout come out of here, and that's that's when it's uh, considered that we've. Uh, moved out of the shoot phase and we're into the tillering phase we got a uh, nice start nice sprout and a tiller out here it's a pretty good start you can see she's all up she's all here so looks pretty good let's hop across the road here to the first of the mustard. This mustard field seems quite a bit wetter, but we'll muck our way all the way out past the headland here to, uh, to where the rows actually start. Sometimes it's hard to judge mustard on the headlands like this. It kind of ends up being a higher compaction zone. So here we go, this is uh, this is the first of the mustard coming up here. You can see we got plenty of plants coming up here. That's going to be plenty to grow a crop and it's not even all up. Look, you got this little guy right here. He's just up. We probably got tons, you know, just underneath the surface here. So let's stage this uh, mustard here. You can essentially see it's just, it's just got the two the two cotyledon leaves st still there. So technically uh, this mustard is considered to, I mean, that's the cotyledon stage still. Eventually it's gonna shoot a third leaf out of here, uh, the third leaf, and then that's, uh, we consider that the true leaf and uh, the, the first leaf stage, and then it'll go into, you know, once we get the second one out, we're gonna go into the third and, and the fourth leaf stage, but, uh, this stuff is still pretty little at the beginning of its life here, and uh, so we're we're just still in the cotyledon stage here. Well, if you won't be able to see this in the rows for for a couple days yet, but it uh, it looks real nice. It's really going to come in this moisture and this heat here. So we got uh, you know we're going to start looking here, watching right away for. Uh, for flea beetle damage usually we don't have to worry about it too much but we had a weird year last year and uh, ended up spraying a little bit of uh, matador to control it where it was worse but I don't see any I don't see any damage here yet so that means that the helix is doing its job and uh, and that's uh, a good thing so Hopefully we don't have to spray for flea beetles, so 
So that all looks pretty good. So we're just going to head on down the road and check uh, one of the field of lentils and, and see how that's coming along. So we're out here at this first field of lentils. Uh, we're going to just jump in here and see what we can see. I was actually concerned for a second because I didn't see a lot of growth here right along the uh, right along the edge, but actually looks pretty good here. So you know, it's really coming along here. So let's see if we can uh, stage these lentils here. So essentially, what you're looking for is right right here at the base. You're going to have your second node and technically. Your third node is right here before the first leaves uh, come out. And uh, so I guess technically these would all be third node stage. Maybe some of them have popped a fourth node, but we're really just at that third node stage right before, right before the, uh, the, the rest of the shoot starts coming out and we start gaining more nodes. So. That's kind of where these lentils are at right now. They're really coming along good. Uh, and uh, really couldn't be a whole lot happier with these first lentils here. Especially since, you know, they were seeded so early and, and everybody was concerned about how things were, how things were looking. So, we're going to keep an eye on this stuff. And you guys don't think it's white out? I essentially had to put it in four wheel drive just to just to get out of that little spot right there. You know, I mean, maybe that's just uh, maybe that's just a chef problem in general. I don't know. Hey everyone, well that's it for the first uh, full crop scout of all three crops here of uh, our 2021 season. So that's pretty good. Uh, we got through that pretty happy with everything. Doesn't look like we have any major gaps in what we did or, or that our process was wrong. So that's been pretty good. I uh, had a lot of people asking for uh, uh, a video of how I load my sprayer up. So we're going to do a, a time lapse of uh, a sprayer fill and uh, stay tuned after that for... Uh, for a bit of an announcement. Hey guys, welcome back. So, time for a bit of announcement. Uh, I'm gonna cross this with uh, the JSP Farms Instagram account. But what we're gonna do here at the end of the video is, uh, if you can figure out exactly how fast that sprayer video was speeded up, whoever gets that right, I am going to ship them a Peterson Farms Limited uh, Flex Fit hat on the house. Um, the only catch with that is is you got to be subscribed to both the YouTube channel and my Instagram account. I know some of you are watching 
without subscribing. So uh, let's break the algorithm. Let's get those numbers up. Uh, and we're going to do that. I'd really like to see, you know, I'd like to see 50 subscribers on uh, this channel. I can know, I know we can go way higher than that, but we got to start somewhere. And uh, let's say 100 new followers on uh, the Instagram account too. But uh, the main thing is, is if you can guess how fast I speeded that video up, uh, you're going to get a free hat. So if you want to get in on that giveaway, put your guess below in the comments or message me on uh, Instagram. So uh, thanks for watching. Appreciate it as always. Like, subscribe. Uh, you know, let's keep this growing season going. A lot of optimism out there now. Uh, looks like we're going to have enough moisture. We're going to have a good crop. We're going to have good prices. We're all going to have a successful year. So uh, as always, we'll catch you on the flip-flop.